Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper bag Easter Bunny um, with a little pom-pom on the tail. This you can use to put all your Easter eggs in or Easter candy, anything that you need. So, um, post it on the website. We have a um, kit that I have drawn for you guys. Um, so, you'll need markers, the printable kit, some scissors and a paper bag, um, and then I used googly eyes but you can um draw your own eyes and then a little pom-pom tail so what's easier it's easier to um color in your ears and nose and mouth with it um not cut out yet so that's what you're gonna do first so i'm doing the inside of my bunny's ears pink The nose pink. And then I'm gonna do a pink bow. You can choose whatever color you want. Um, and I'm gonna make my bunny purple. You can make your bunny yellow. You can make your bunny blue, green orange whatever color you want your bunny to be you can have a rainbow bunny if you want however you want to do it so i'm going to take my other color and i'm going to color the paws purple You can have a Saints Bunny, a Shoe Bunny, Pelican's Bunny, whatever you want. You can have a bunny with green ears and a blue mouth. Just get creative and have fun with it your bunny most but not least I'm gonna color in the ears And if you don't have a pom-pom, you can use a, you can color in a, um, a cotton ball. You can use a cotton ball. So if you want to keep your bunny white, um, you can do that too. And have a little white cotton tail, a cotton ball. Um, cotton balls are pretty easy to color. And one of the reasons why you can um it's easier to color in all your pieces before you cut them out is because if you go outside the lines it doesn't really matter because you're about to cut it out anyways all right so now that we have all of our pieces colored you just cut them out so i I think it's a little bit easier to cut things out in smaller sections so I'm just going to cut out the ear section instead of having to cut it out with the whole page And if you don't want to, if you don't have a paper bag or if you don't want to make it a paper bag, you can um, really use this kit to turn anything into a little Easter bunny and be festive with it. Um, 
So you could glue it to a big cotton ball. You could glue it to um, really anything you want, a box, a basket. Whatever you can think of, be creative. And then you get the mouth. So the paws are smaller than the feet are. Just so once you get them all cut out, that way you can keep them organized and you won't get confused on what's what. And the bow might be a little bit more difficult to cut out. So if you need help, just ask one of your parents. Get rid of our trash. Now that we don't need our markers anymore, we can put that aside. So now we take our paper bag and our glue. And I'm gonna start off with the ears. So I'm gonna um, have my ears kind of stick off the paper bag a little bit. So I'm only gonna put some glue at the bottom half of my ear, the little bunny's ear. I'm gonna stick it on and do the same with the other, like that. You don't need too much glue. <clears throat> and then working down from there, I'm gonna take two of my googly eyes, put a little glue down. And like I said, you can draw big eyes, little eyes, use googly eyes if you want. However, then I'm going to take my mouth and I put some glue on there and stick them down. And I'm going to take this bow. some glue on the bow. If you don't want to use the bow, if you want to make it a bow tie, if you want to make it a bow tie, all you need to do is just cut off the little hanging strings. You want to put the bow on the Easter Bunny's head and put him like by his ears, however you want. This is your Easter Bunny. Make them, make them however you want them. I'm put his paws down on 
for our feet. At the bottom. And once all that is done, you can flip him over and put a little cotton tail on the back side. Get yourself some glue and take your cotton ball and stick him down. And then there you have it. You fill him up with all your Easter goodies. Have a good one, guys.